enough to get the run home as they pull back to even at one and one. Yeah, with the runner going on contact right there, this is going to be an RBI ground out as he's in to score and tie this game up. Brendan Ryan will try and start over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground out. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. One run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. Leading off for Oakland, left fielder, Shen Su Chu. And this is going to be a foul ball. And a sinker dips too low there, into the dirt, in fact. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Oh, he's just cruising out there now. I'll tell you, this may turn into a game of first team to two wins. Here's a swing and a ground ball. swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats so another foul ball here and it remains one and two now another one two fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning if you're a fan of pitching this has been the game for you I mean these two guys have both been exceptional so far just two runs allowed between both of them <laughs> of course Makes the broadcasters awfully happy because this game has flown by. Joe Maurer is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. A little behind there is this one's chopped foul. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. One run on three hits and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Two straight strikeouts here to start out the inning, but that's eight for him now in the ball game. These guys have really had a hard time figuring them out. Andrew McCutcheon will step in, one for two in the ball game. Here's the first offering. Slice down the line at first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Line hard to center field. Heisey is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Jeremy Hefner is going to come on now as he's already up to 10 appearances here in the spring. Jeremy Hefner. Tim Hudson will back for himself here in a tie ball game in the sixth. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Frank Coor is there, and these fans won't like that as it's a one pitch out to begin the home half of the sixth. Eduardo Nunez will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Throw in time at first for route number two. Yeah, two pitches, two outs here so far. Well, offensively, that's not the kind of inning you want in a tie ball game. You need to make him work at least a little bit out there. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a ground ball, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Yeah, looks like he's going to be all right, but boy, late in spring training. The last thing you want to see is your guys get hit by a pitch. I think he'll survive, but that always causes you to hold your breath a little. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Here's one hit towards the hole, and he'll turn and fire a desperation throw to first. A low throw, but he's able to look this one right into the. 
J.J. Hardy will stand. Fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Swung on and missed that time by Hardy as he finds himself behind 0-2 now. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this with the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be in. Lined hard towards short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Deonor Navarro will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And here's his fastball for a called strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. And this pitch is going to be bounced foul over near Ty Waller in the first base coaching box. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Can we get a look there at his pitches by any? He's at 81 now after that last pitch, so he should be good for a little while longer. Carlos Santana is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. We've talked about all the strikeouts. The only side effect is right there, though. He, he's run up a pretty high pitch count now. This now is hit to second. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down. Bob Melvin's going to make his way out for a conference at home plate, and it looks like we're going to have a double switch here. Ryan Presley. We'll get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Albert Pujols will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty good. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall. A home run. A solo shot for Albert Pujols. And the Giants move out ahead. It's two to one. Ramon Ramirez will come on now as he'll take over in inning number seven. Carlos Beltran will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Jared Dyson will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. But he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Chris Heisey will dig in now. Hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. And McCutcheon will put this one away, and the inning is over. But bye-bye, baby. It's a run for the Giants on the solo blast. Seven complete here tonight. It's now 2-1 to one, San Francisco. Jeff Francoeur will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And the inning will begin with a fly ball out to straightaway right. Right there is Beltran, one away. Mark Reynolds will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. Fouled back. And here's a swing and a miss as they jump ahead of Reynolds here, 0 and 2. And it looks like the scouting report says, work this guy away, and it's been paying off. Right, and whoever put together that scouting report did a real nice job because this whole team hasn't done much offensively at all. And this is going to be a foul ball. And yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats and the count will remain at 0-2. 
Ryan at short. Over to his left, he's up with it. On to first as Reynolds is a ground out victim here, two away. Sometimes this is all you have to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. This has been a great pitching performance so far. And they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. And Hudson will start him out with that good sinker at strike one. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Josh Colmenter is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground. Throw on to first in time, one away. Anthony Rizzo will grab him back now as he'll pinch hit for Hudson here. And now the second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. Eduardo Nunez will stand in. And they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. And this is grounded toward Reynolds, but foul wide of the bag. Now the 0-1 is hit on the ground for Reynolds at third. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. Jamal Weeks will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. And now here's a swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all. Joe Nathan is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Shin Su Chu will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now a slider hit pretty well, but he might have got under it just a bit as this is out toward deep center. And not the start they were hoping for as the leadoff man is kept off base to start the ninth. Joe Maurer will stand in here in a matchup of two guys who know each other pretty well. Yeah, teammates for a long time, and I'd say that that maybe favors a hitter a little bit, but I guess it could work both ways. And there's ball one. Tried to backdoor him with another breaking pitch right there, and they're staying away from the fastball so far, at least in this at-bat. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane, as yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Swing and a hard liner to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Andrew McCutcheon will get another crack, one for three thus far. And a tough slider there from Nathan, good for strike one. Winning pitcher would be Tim Hudson should the lead hold up. And this will be a called strike two. In trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, we all know that Joe Nathan has been doing this for a lot of years now. He knows what he's doing out there, and he works a strong ninth inning here to pick up the save. This one, definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. And guys, the Giants couldn't have done it here without the start turned in by this man, Tim Hudson. Don't put that card in your bicycle spokes. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he wound up turning things over to his bullpen in the ninth, but still, eight strong innings for him. And he was hitting his spots all game long. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show.